Hey, I'm Chris. I'm here at the Bunny House at Canab. I have Pez with me. Um, he is, he's from St. George, uh, from a shelter there. But uh, I am originally from, uh, most recently from Massachusetts. Um, a engineer by trade. So I decided that working with bunnies and getting to hang out with them all day was a lot more fun and less stressful. Um, so I do that now for fun. And this is Pez. Uh, affectionately nicknamed Elvis Pesley because of the do and are you done? If you can see the do, he's part lion head. He's awesome. Adoptable, as Faith likes to call me, the used car salesman of bunnies. So when we're ready to have people come adopt again, he's yours. All right. So we're here in the bunny house. Um, this is our oldest, our, sorry, our newest building. Uh, it's headquarters. It's about six, seven years old. It's our Hilton of the bunny house houses. We have this building and another one's called Garrett's. That's more of our Motel 6. When we get there in a little while, you'll understand why. Uh, but we're kind of packed to the to the, the, the hilt here with all the bunnies. We're, they're in every corner right now. We've got Pez, we've got Pixie, who's kind of hiding there. She's a little camera shy, but she's super sweet. And to come in here, we have some recent arrivals. They came to us from New Orleans, Thelma and Louise. Um, it was a long car trip, but they, they made it, hence the name Thelma and Louise. Um, feisty little bunnies, but still very sweet. Um, and <laughs> ready to go home eventually once they uh, get spayed. So we'll take a walk through our bunny house and we'll show you some other bunnies and um, some of what we do here normally. Normally we clean our buildings during the day inside uh, in the mornings and everybody gets cleaned so they have a nice fresh run to live in. They have indoor outdoor access all the time. Uh, so 24 seven they get to go in or out um, and do whatever they want based on the temps they want to keep. Uh, here's Bobby reclining in his run. Let's um, see if he lets us in to check him out. Hi, Bob. And his buddy Lillian back here. Can you say hi, Bob? Go say hi. There you go. <laughs> super cute, super sweet. And if you look in their runs, you're going to see a lot of different things. Um, they have wood toys, they have plastic toys, some metal things that make noise. That if you're in here, uh, you'll hear all sorts of weird things clanging off of their bowls. They, they do play, most people don't realize that. They have super personalities. I never really realized that either till I got here, and now I've totally become a bunny person. Um, don't judge, I have six of my own. I, I told myself, yeah, I'm gonna work at the bunny house, I won't need any. That lasted a month. Now I have six of my own, and they're awesome. Um, I don't know if Mr. Bobby here will be picked up. I'm going towards the lion heads today, can you tell? They have, uh, he's got the super dew as well. Occasionally he gets a little comb over going. He's uh, one of our other caregivers, Sandra, calls him Lion Man, and he is. He's got the lion dew. Very sweet. And you can tell none of them are um, underweight by any means here. We, we take care of them really well. They get a little too much food sometimes. But in the run, they also have a litter box. It's got hay, uh, which is 80 to 90% of their diet. In the bottom of the box, there's uh, wood pellets, which if they pee in the box like they should, um, this just turns into sawdust, so if they were to eat it, it wouldn't cause a problem. It would just go right through like another source of fiber for them. And she's showing you how she eats her like her hay. Uh, so it, if you were to have a bunny, which we do promote adopting, please come adopt bunnies. Uh, they would, um, you don't want to give them any kind of cat litter because that would cause all sorts of problems with a bunny. Because bunnies do not throw up. So if it goes in their mouth, it has to come out the other end. Another fun fact, because it's all about poop at the bunny house, um, bunnies poop 360 times a day, each bunny. So uh, it's, it's a huge thing here. If, you, if they stop eating, stop pooping, it's a big deal. So we also have <laughs> Darren, who's one of our caregivers. If you've ever been here to volunteer, we have poop coasters, poop clocks, a welcome sign made out of poop. It's, it's a big thing. Um, and <laughs> there's Lil playing with a toy for you. And she'll do it for you again. You're gonna throw the toys for her. Here you go. You throw. No. 
She's throwing them at Amy. There we go. So they, they do have super personalities. Um, so don't overlook them if you go to a shelter and are thinking about adopting because they are awesome little critters, aren't you? Yes. Are those handmade toys, Chris? These, these, yep. These, um, one of our volunteers that came here and, uh, and volunteered with us quite a while ago, she sends us box upon box of these things and they love them. They destroy them. Um, they, she calls them, uh, little, like, satellites, I think she calls them. And she'll send those to us. She sent us these as well. Um, so you got to take these, I'll throw them around. Uh, we have, these people, people donate these. You can buy them online and they'll, they'll destroy these things as well. These are through, um, I think Amazon sells those. It's all just untreated wood um, and untreated, uh, I think it's sisal or sisal rope um, that they chew on and what everyone brings us all the time, toilet paper rolls. So we go through a lot of those here and the bunnies love them. They get their uh, greens put in them sometimes. They get hay stuffed in them with treats and they, they just love chewing on things as you can tell here. So bunnies' teeth grow about five inches a year. So with all these things, it helps keep their teeth ground down so we don't have to put them under anesthesia to, to get them ground down. And they also chew on their Heidi box. And you're gonna run outside now, aren't you? So probably. But they'll chew on the Heidi box as well, the cardboard, um, to keep their teeth ground down. The hay helps with that. So it's a big thing to make sure they have plenty of things to chew on. Uh, another thing, if you do have a free-range free rabbit in your home, they will chew everything, including drywall, couches, wires. So you need to rabbit proof if you let them be a free range bunny. So we'll move on to another set. Take a look outside and see what the outdoor ones look like. Like I said, they have indoor-outdoor access all the time. Their outdoor runs are pretty comparable in size and from headquarters. So they're pretty decent size. Of course, there's no bunnies in this run. We'll find this run with them. But it's a pretty good size. You go in, inside, outside, through that little tube. Um, and they, again, they get lots of toys to play with here. Um, I had another hidey box outside to play. And someone was asking Chris what kind of bunnies they are. Uh, we tend to call them mutts. Uh, they're bunnies, like dogs. The breed is dog. Here, the breed is usually bunny. They're all pretty much mixes. We don't really get a lot of um, purebred bunnies. Occasionally we will, but uh, we get anything from like English spots. to We had a couple lops in there that may not be pure lops, so we call them a lop mix. Um, we do have a few Rexes, which are the, you know, the Velveteen Rabbits that are super soft. Um, There's just a, a whole range of just about any breed you're going to find. We have had the occasional, uh, oh, I'm blanking on the name, the giant one. Flemish Giants. Flemish Giants. They're really giant. Um, so we do get those in occasionally. They're a mix again, so they're not the extremely huge ones. There we go. So here's some of our outdoor runs in our Garrett's building. Again, our bunnies are well fed. This is Hazy and Toyota. Toyota's our black bunny uh, and Hazy's our brown one. He, we call him a half lop usually because usually he has one ear stuck straight up in the air and the other one down. Are you gonna let me pick you up? Or are you just gonna come play? How about we just play? No? Yeah, <laughs> he marks it. Um, so Garrett's building, if you look down the run here, these runs, they're decent size out here, uh, so they, they get to come outside quite a bit. They're indoor runs. Like I said, this is our Motel 6. The indoor runs you're going to see are a lot smaller, so they have just enough to have hay and water inside and to get out of the cold or the heat if they need to. So we'll go take a look at those and maybe visit some guinea pigs while we're in there. So right now we've got about 10 guinea pigs, which is a lot more guinea pigs than we normally have. But they're all super cute. So these two are little lovebirds, Rosie and Cabot. They came to us from a shelter in Las Vegas where 
they were said to be kind of mean rabbits and they they were a little mean when they got here you couldn't really pull them out of their carriers but they decided after being in runs next to each other for a while that they were super in love and they are and rosie who's the smaller of the two is very possessive of her man uh, if you go and pick up one of them or try to pick up cabot mostly she'll um she'll run after you and grunt at you so she that is her man you you can't have him but come here sweetie my please say hi hello yeah i know miss rosie you're not going to pick you up i'm not even gonna try don't worry so but we do get lots of um bunnies from other rescues so we try to open up space in other rescues by taking them here so if someone um needs to surrender a, a bunny for any reason, they can surrender to the local rescue and they'll have room for them. And here's some of our pigs. They're super cute. Um, we went with the Hawaiian theme here. We have Moana, Keanu, Kai, and Leilani. And we can open this thing so we can see them better. You gonna say hello? No, you're gonna hide. It's not food time. Oh boy. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> a little not, unsure what's there happening. And I quite huh? have, I'm not quite understanding this camera thing. <laughs> come see me? Oh, oh no. Okay, no. All right, we won't come out. We go back in. Yeah, they're not so happy about that just yet. That is okay. Because they're relatively new, huh? Yeah, they haven't been here all that long. This one's very sweet, too. Very so. cute. Somebody already has her in their sights, so hopefully she'll be going home yeah. soon. Huh? Come see me. Come on. Come out. I know you'll let me pick you up. Right? Yeah. Aww. Here we go. Say hi. Aww. This is Moana. She's very sweet. She's like, I may be taken, though. But, huh. They're very adorable. Yeah, she's the most mellow of all of them. She's very sweet. Uh... They were just left somewhere, and the people asked if we could take them because they were just kind of left on our doorstep. So they they became ours. So now now you're stuck with us till we find you home, huh? So if you guys like Hawaiian themes, we have we have guinea pigs for you. And let's see what else. And we have to show you our favorite. Anyone saw the lunch talk today? You already know who our most recent favorite. We can't say favorite favorite because they're all our favorites. This is um, this is Luna. She's she's very awesome and very much for adoption as well. She, <laughs> she's one. <of> the, <laughs> she used to have a couple sisters and uh, they unexpectedly passed, so she's alone right now. But this is our little man King. Ah, hello. He's so excited to see you. He is. Come here. Get over here. Come see. Hello. Is he a camera shy? Come here, you. Oh, I love you. He's got a little head tilt, but we're working through that, and it may just be him. So, you gonna smile? He helps with computer work. He sits on a computer with us and looks at the screen and, and helps send emails. And if you walk in in the morning, he runs over, grabs onto the thing. He's like, where's your treat? And Darren yells, biscuit. And he, he waits for his biscuit. Don't you? Yes. Very he may be hard to get out of the clutches of our hands for adoption, just saying. So, you may be number seven. <laughs> so, let's see. What else do we have? Um, Rupert and Bernard are very sweet little critters here. Uh, they have lots of personality. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't have treats. And one of their favorite pastimes is crawling into these bunny blankets and hiding. He's in there right now. <laughs> but, so yeah, this is the bunny house. Uh, this is what we do. Uh, we, we're gonna have caregiving today. Um, so I'm gonna get back to caregiving right now. And I think tomorrow is Wild Friends at four o'clock Eastern time. So tune back in tomorrow. Thanks. <laughs>